All right, I just wanted to share my experiences with uh, the T-Mobile Home Internet. Uh, first time I tried it, uh, any sort of wireless internet service. So uh, today we'll take a look at uh, what my buying experience was like, what the uh, installation setup was like, and then of course uh, how well it worked. So just a little bit of background. Uh, I've had you know wired uh, broadband, you know cable modems forever. Uh, I recently had uh, a service with uh, 300 megabit down, 30 megabit up. Uh, I probably had that for about four years or so. It was great for the majority of it, but uh, the last year, however, for some reason, the uh, reliability had gotten really bad. So uh, I had more outages in the last year than I had in all the prior years combined, and those outages impacted you know others in Columbus, actual network outages. In addition, over the last month, I started having outages where no one else was having problems. It was just me, no amount of rebooting a cable modem, rebooting a router, none of that did anything. It was just like from four to eight during the week, my internet just didn't work at eight o'clock, it magically worked. So I was kind of looking for a quick out. Uh, I was already a T-Mobile customer. I knew they had a product. Uh, so it was coming from something that I, I felt was pretty quick. I was a little concerned because you know T-Mobile, they speak of 5G as, you know, they have the range, you know, they have the signal to get out there, uh, not necessarily speed, whereas Verizon is like, we're really fast, but uh, the catch is apparently uh, that signal doesn't travel as far. So I did a little bit of research. It looked like it was going to be 50 bucks a month, possibly $100 upfront for a, a modem cost. So I said, what the hell, I'll go down to the T-Mobile store and uh, see what's up. So I went down to the local T-Mobile store uh, after they waited on people in front of me. I was in and out of there 10 minutes. So here's what uh, I came home with. So this is uh, the box that the uh, uh, T-Mobile internet, uh, 5G home internet uh, gateway comes in. And uh, inside of here, you would have the actual uh, device itself, seven modem, like they call it a gateway. And then it just comes with a cable, an ethernet cable, a power adapter, and it also comes with a uh, manual. Now the manual is interesting. The manual says, download our app on your phone or you're going nowhere. So um, let me tell you a little bit about installation. So, I mean, installation is nothing. You just plug it in. But uh, what they tell you to do is to put it somewhere near a window, preferably on the second store, story of your house if you have a second story. And then also to uh, face it uh, where you might think a cell tower might be. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. So uh, I just uh, put it in the most convenient place for me to begin with and uh, plugged it in. So this is the, uh, the gateway. So it's got uh, two ethernet ports. There's a USB that you probably can't do anything with. There's not an off switch. Uh, there's a switch for UPS. And then you've got your power cord. So you've got these two wired Ethernet ports. Uh, it's also got wireless built in. I've never used the wireless built in because I don't use anybody's built in wireless. Uh, so addition, additionally on the top, this is actually a touch screen and a display. And what you want is bars. Three is not bad. You'll see in this video, uh, not a big deal. I will tell you, uh, and I'll show you a picture in just a second that I was able to get four in a different room in the house. Uh, and by doing stupid stuff, apparently there's four antennas in here on the sides and you just kind of, uh, I just saw, so here I just made it go to two, but you could just ever so slightly turn it and sometimes get better signal. So, uh, anyhow, when you fire it up, uh, yeah, so you turn this on, you load the app, you sign in with your T-Mobile credentials on, on the T-Mobile internet app on your telephone. And uh, then it's going to, uh, it says it might automatically detect this. In my case, it did not. There's a QR code on the bottom, scan that, picked it right up. And uh, very quickly it said, hey, here's your Wi-Fi password for the Wi-Fi that's built in. It showed the bars at the top and it's ready to go. So very quick and easy from that aspect. I will say that I, uh, I initially wasn't that impressed, so I had everything just hooked up uh, wirelessly. So I plugged in my wired slash wireless router uh, directly to this. So just straight out of here into the router and then I just connected my computer wirelessly. And I was getting like a hundred and some uh, megabits down and I was like, well, I mean, that's not bad. But uh, what I found out is I had some issues. I'd never used wireless in this computer. I didn't have any antennas hooked up to it, etc. So I actually just went wired. 
Uh, so, uh, which is what I prefer anyway. It's what I was doing previously. So I went wired to my main system. And then after a while, I saw uh, much greater speeds. So, you know, for me, I've only had this little bit two and a half weeks or so. It's been uber reliable. I've had no issues. It's raining like hell over here. Uh, so I am in the, uh, the central Ohio area. And uh, come Memorial Day, it rains. Uh, ask, ask Jack Nicholas. So, anyhow, uh, rain hasn't been an issue. I've had zero stability issues. Uh, I will tell you that the speeds vary. And they can vary from like every five minutes. So all your devices are, you know, idle, nothing's happening, yet you are uh, seeing different fluctuations. What I will tell you though, is I'm averaging 500 megabits a second down and about 30 megabits a second up. Those are averages. So what we'll do quickly here is I will share with you uh, two uh, speed test. So I'll show you the first will be my best uh, upload. And then the second will be my best download. And of course, those two things are not the same for whatever reason, right? Uh, again, uh, service has been great. Uh, apparently, there was no charge for this. They said uh, 50 bucks a month out the door. Uh, I, I assume there's going to be more like 60 bucks a month taxes, fees, whatever. Uh, but as I understand it, there's no sort of rental on this. It's just you have to give it back when you're done. And uh, it showed up as an extra line. Like I got a text on my phone that said, oh, thank you for adding a line. So, all right, here's the stuff that uh, I'm sure you're actually interested in. Uh, we'll just show you the uh, two uh, speed tests. Uh, like I said best upload, best download, and uh, that'll be it.